Hi, welcome everyone. My name is Glenda Dawson. I'm from Glenda's Magical Creations. Welcome to um, this program. Uh, this class is going to be about crystal grits and the intention of the crystal grits. Now, we all know that everything has its intentions and crystal grids and heal, healing sets are just groups of stones and crystals that go together for that purpose. You know, these crystals, sets of crystals and stones are used for ritual magic, for spiritual crystal healing, for purposes like Reiki energy work, for intentions, you want uh, to ask the universe about uh, giving you more love, bringing love into your, your world, bringing love into your life, for example. Not about anything specific, but just bringing love into your world, into your life. To bring healing into your world, into your life. To allow your higher self to really shine. There's a lot of intentions, a lot of different reasons we have crystal grids. When we're setting up a crystal grid or a crystal healing grid set, there are some general guidelines and these are very helpful. For example, clear crystals are to remove any negative uh, energy that they may have picked up for example if i get a crystal like this i am going to do reiki on it i am going to actually smudge it or i'm going to leave it out in the full moon so it gets recharged and gets cleansed i also some crystals can go underwater some crystals could go into sea salt there are different methods you could use sage, you could use incense, um, whatever is more comfortable for you. And at the same time, you need to ground and clear your environment, yourself and your environment before starting. You could set the greatest intentions, loving intentions for this crystal grid or using these crystals in a set. And yet, if you are in the dark if you are not in the right place if you are not grounded and your environment is chaotic it's not going to work or it may work but it's not going to work with the intention that you set it for so remember that also focus your intention as you start to set up the crystals for example don't be distracted by personal concerns leave the phone on the side turn off the tv you know don't, don't allow the kids to bother you don't allow anyone to bother you set your intentions and focus only on what you're doing because the more focused you are the more of the greater the intention or the energy is going to be when i do crystal uh grids i usually do it for healing I do a lot of things. I also do them in my altars. I prepare them for a specific reason. Like if I want to celebrate, say, the fall equinox or the autumn equinox or the winter solstice, each one of them has a different meaning and purpose, and each one of them has di different crystals. I also set them up for love to come in, peace to come in in my life, for abundance to come in in my life for me to let go of all the anger or anything negative that i may have also it's good for those that you love if someone is going through a surgery or uh, through a rough time you could ask them it's a form of a prayer it's a form of intention it is an intention so it's a form of a prayer you can meditate and do the same thing it all depends. The only difference is, and one of the biggest differences, is that crystals are living things. They have energy. They breathe. They've been around forever since the earth first was developed, 
before it would even th been thought of being formed, of being here. You have all different types. And also I'm showing you all different shapes. Like this one is one of my favorite. This is my rose quartz, very light rose quartz um, dragon's head. Now dragon is my spirit guide or one of my spirit guides. So when I want my spirit guides to really get involved in my intention, I set this smack in the middle of my crystal grid. You know, I have different types. I could have all the same. It could all just be little nuggets. Doesn't have to be expensive. You don't have to go crazy. You could add flowers to it. You could add sand to it. You could add candles to it. You could add whatever it is to bring that intention to a new light, the energy. Now, here's a butterfly. Look at that butterfly. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, if you're looking for certain crystals and you cannot find them, you could always contact me and I have uh, access to a lot of crystals and stones. Many are in beautiful shapes like hearts, as you can see right here. You can see as stars. Look at that. And it has this one I love because it has a natural natural uh, section where you could actually see the little clear stuff there so keep in mind okay that when you're doing crystal grids you could set the intention and add a type or a shape to help you for example this is spaceship when i wanted to first start getting in touch with my galactic family my friends Okay, on purpose and in a certain time and day, I would put this. See how cute it is? Let me see. There you go. Look how cute it is. I would put this right in my crystal grid. Now, I have hearts, as you can see. Look at this one. It's a beautiful blue heart. And everything has a different intention. Sorry, I'm reaching, but. They moved on me. <laughs> so the moon, what great energy. That's loving and soft and caring energy. The moon, the feminine energy. I also have suns and I also have towers and all this stuff. I use everything. I use stones that I have picked up at, as I'm walking in in the fields or walking in the garden or I'm walking in a park or anywhere else. I have little sticks that I use with greatest intention. What beauty does it bring to bring a leaf that has just changed now in autumn to a beautiful color, red, or orange, a yellow. Oh my God. The energy that that produces is great. Yes. So you don't have to just stick to crystals and stones. It's called crystals and stones grid because that's the main thing that you're going to energize it with. Now, these crystals and stones have many different uh, shapes, many different ways, but normally it is what we use is sacred geometry. Sacred geometry is wonderful. Sacred geometry has energy within itself, within itself, the grid. There's a lot of grids on earth. There's a lot of crystal grids already below the earth that is energizing Mother Earth, Gaia, that is energizing us that is helping us that's healing us um many times i find myself when i am doing um healing any form of energy healing whether it's shamanic whether it's reiki whether it's quantum whatever it is i like to place a crystal grid under the table if the person is here in person so that 
energy intensifies and that energy is then used by their higher self, their body, their intention to heal, to heal whether it's the broken heart or whether they need healing mentally or need healing physically or need healing spiritually, whatever it is. Maybe they need a new job. So you set the intention and you set the crystal grid for that purpose. Now, if it's near or touching the body, it is a perfect place. A few times when the person has just come out of surgery, I've actually placed a crystal grid right on their abdomen and allow it to carry that energy inside of them to really intensify the healing energy so it could work in a perfectly efficient way. I know a lot of you are saying, well, what if you do a distant healing? Well, it's the same thing. I use the crystal grid as the surrogate, the stand in for the actual Haley, the person who's getting healing. And while they're in distance, then I put their photo in the middle, put the main crystal in the middle, and then put all the other symbolic crystals and leaves or uh, little trinkets, candles, even deities all around it. Um, we use this in ceremony, in rituals, to focus the intention. You know, we call it a spell. A lot of people call these things a spell. It is not. It is all an intention. It is the charm. It is what you're requesting the universe, God, divine, that greater spirit to allow us to intensify the energy. You know, there's many different types. There's the ones that are, are to enhance power, to harmonize us, to harmonize our environment, to harmonize what we're doing. There's the ones that give you energy for protection, for abundance, for wealth, for love, whatever it is, it is always in your favor. And there's so many pretty ones. I'm going to share with you now some of the pictures that I have picked up. Now, as you can see in the first one, look at that. It has a plant in the middle, surrounded by greenery. It has a venturin. It has a little bit of um, uh, amethyst. It has clear quartz. Look at the beauty. It doesn't have to be all ugly. It is just beautiful to look at and the intention and the greatness of that energy. Now, look at the next one. Look how pretty that is. They have sea salt. They're using sacred geometry. They have a tea there. They have candles. They have a Tibetan bowl. Oh my goodness, they have everything. Anything that resonates with them. Now, I do teach these classes, but I'm going to tell you about that in a minute, but before we're going to take a break for our sponsors. Be right back. Thank you. Welcome back. Today, again, we're talking about crystal grids and the idea that we don't always just use crystal grids. Crystal grids can be used for anything that needs amplification, any intention that needs amplification. Now, look at that. Isn't that a beautiful crystal grid? That is a healing crystal grid. You put whatever crystal you wish in the middle. Usually I like to put a tower 
in the middle. And then at every single point, I like to put something. Then in between, I put candles. Or if it's in the summertime, I have, oh, somebody has given me roses, I put rose petals. What a beautiful scene. Can you picture that? Under somebody's table while they're getting Reiki or on somebody's altar as we're honoring our ancestors or asking for forgiveness, asking for healing, asking for peace or abundance or even love to come into our lives. And when I mean love come into our lives, I do not mean a specific person because you know what? That's not how it works. You should never take away free will from anyone because you wouldn't like it to be taken away from you. And I believe everybody has a right to love whoever they want to love. As long as they are loving and receiving loving in a healthy, very healthy way. Now, isn't this beautiful? Now, I had somebody color it in for me because I like purple and I like those colors. And isn't it gorgeous? I don't know. It, it just inspires me now to do other grids for everyone. Now, look at this. This is sacred geometry, crystal grid. In every single one of those circles, you could either place a crystal or place a candle or place whatever you wish. It really, really shows itself for to use your imagination, not allow it to just stagnate you, but to allow your imagination and your artistic way to flourish. Because the more artistic and the more beautiful you are inside and thinking about the good intentions, the better the energy, the better you are grounded. The more you are grounded, the, the kinder you are, the better it is, the nicer things are. Now look at this. Oh my God, I could think of so many different things from healing to love to protection to just setting a crystal grid to send out love to everyone, to send out love, abundance, to give clarity. Sometimes you need clarity, and whether to take a job, whether to move, whether to move to this certain apartment, whether to even date someone in particular. You can use all the different crystals in all the different ways. I just keep going back to this one because look at that beautiful table. It has crystal grids. It has candles, has all of the elements, all of the elements. And that is when it is, the energy is carried at a higher frequency in a better place. The energy is set to be free because you set it free and the air, the flame, the smoke of the flame is carrying that intention out into the universe. And the teacup, that represents the water element. The salts represent the earth element. Wow, how beautiful. The candles could also represent the air element. You know, the sound, everything is represented here. Wow, just imagine what you can do with this, all these elements on your table. And like I said, there's no need to be afraid of it. There's no need to ponder. Start small, though. I would ask that you start small so you can then determine what resonates with you and what doesn't. It is a beautiful thing that is just wonderful. Now, we all carry crystals inside of us, whether we realize it or not. Some of us have not been activated yet. And once you're activated, you start to go and feel crystals at, at a greater degree. I mean, 
when my crystal was activated, I learned that I could touch certain crystals. Look at that dragon head. Oh, man. <sighs> yes, this is not a break, by the way. This is just a natural line. Natural line. It's just so beautiful to me. But this came to me after I asked, by the way, after I actually did a crystal grid. And I was saying to my team, my guides, you know, guys, I really need something a little more powerful. I really need something with a little more intention. And they somehow that just appeared in front of me and I I had to get it. It, it was wonderful. Now we have mushrooms here. Mushrooms are a sign of good health, happiness, love, and good things happening in your life. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, it could portray something else, but you know, we won't go there. The heart. This is a beautiful shaped heart. Look at all the different layers, all the different colors. Now, each and every one of these, this is an agate, and each and every layer in this agate intensifies the other layer. Look at that. Each layer intensifies the layer above it and the layer above it, and the layer above it, and the layer above it. So this is why it is so thick. Look how pretty this is, even on the sides. You could actually feel the energy. I'm hoping that you can feel it as I'm holding it up for you. Now, if you have any questions, please contact me at glendasmagicalcreations.com. You could email me at Glenda's Magical Creations at gmail.com. And we could discuss anything. Don't be afraid. I'd love to hear from you. If you want any more of these type of informational classes, please, you know, email me. I, I have loads and loads of information and knowledge, and I would love to share it with you. And I thank you for being here with me. I now we'll say goodbye uh but please stay safe stay loved share love be loved stay in peace don't react just allow the energy of peace to just resonate with you and flow out of you so others around you can say oh my goodness she is really that lighthouse or he is really that lighthouse. Or they, them, you are really that lighthouse. And I see it. I feel it. I know that we can all light that light and shine bright to be seen by the stars. Thank you. Love you all. Namaste. Looking forward to seeing you again. Hi. Bye. Thank you.